One thing I wanted to talk about uh, we haven't talked on the show for was uh, at Yellow Rock Disaster Relief. Yeah, as well. Give me that. Yeah. Talk about some of the experiences there because that's that's a yeah. Incredible. Matter of fact, I'll be teaching. I teach classes now from State Convention. I'll be down in North Charleston next uh, next week. You know, week after next. Okay. Uh, teaching some classes down there now. Well, uh, yeah, I think the one that sticks in my mind the most was not a success story. Yeah. Right. Anytime disaster relief comes, and I, I think I've used it. Uh, to help people realize the other results are not up to us. And with disaster relief, now we had changed, that we started out with a chainsaw unit mm -hmm. and with you know, we a bunch of bubbles. We love cuts some friends. <laughs> you had skid steer, love to run skid steer. And, uh, that's a whole other story. God bless us to have our associates. We have our own skid steer. But we were in New Jersey for Superstorm Sandy. And I don't remember what year that was now. But we went up to New Jersey. And when we got there, White Hat is the guy that's in charge of the disaster relief, the whole, the whole gathering. And he just got there. And there had been no assessor there. And he's like, Benny, you know, could y'all just go out and find your own job? I'm like, yeah, I, I actually prefer that. I wish get out and start riding. We're in the storm bed and right. stop and talk to people. Hey, we're, we're some babies. We're here to help you for free. They, they really find that hard to believe, you know, that we don't charge them. But well, we found this guy that uh, his yard was a mess. And uh, we had about, I don't know, seven, eight of us were there that year. And so we're told, we, we, cause he had emphysema. I forget all the health issues that, that he had. Bill, Bill was his name. I forgot his last name. Now, Bill, I never forget Bill. One of the kindest men you'd ever meet. And so we'd cut trains and we'd talk to Bill. You know, he, he was one of these guys, he'd, he'd have coffee and donuts and, you know, pastries and breakfast and that kind of stuff. And we were there about three days, maybe. And and so we started witnessing the bill. That's the whole goal. It was like, if we cut trees, we clean up mud, whatever, but we, we share the gospel. And uh, in that area, they, most of them didn't even know who Southern Baptists were. You know, there, there's no Southern Baptist church in much there. Bill could not believe the gospel. He kept saying, no, I would have to go to hell and pay for my sins before I could be saved. Hmm. We're like, no, Bill, that's not how it works. Right. And everybody on the team, so I told Bill that first night, I think maybe I talked to him the first day. I said, listen, we all got witness to Bill. And so we jumped with him the whole time we were with him. We'd be cutting trees, somebody be over there witnessing the Bill. And we tried our best to win him to Christ. And when we, when we left with tears in our eyes, we left him not knowing the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because he just could not believe that he could get saved and, and Jesus would forgive all of his sin. He felt like he had to pay somehow. He, he kept saying, you know, I have to be with Lucifer. He, he used the word Lucifer. I got to go spend time with Lucifer and pay for my sin before I could be saved. Mm -hmm. And we could not convince him otherwise. So we left there with a heavy heart. And and, and we were all heavy heart. And I had to encourage the guys. Like, they are like, why, why would I? I'm like, did we not do it right? I'm like, listen, God called us to share the gospel. Right. And the, and it's up to him. If, if the people will reject the gospel, there's nothing we can do. And so we learned how to deal with the rejection of the gospel there. And Brother Hearts, a, a month later, uh, there was a, I, I think it was a Catholic church that uh, sent us a note and said, hey, Bill died and his wife gave a donation in y'all's honor. For the work you did at their home, wow! Uh, Bill's death, and so, so yeah, you know, that was not a in our mind a success story, but you know, I told the guys, Bill can never stand before the Lord, so I didn't hear the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. you got the Lord put seven or eight of us put in His life, and that's yeah, you know, that's what those are not the times that we rejoice, you know. But I, I try to encourage people: make sure you know God's just called you to be faithful. Right. And share the gospel. Right. But, you know, there's a lot of others that the rest of our community, that and, and many other trips we make, it's been an incredible journey to see going to people having one of the worst days of their lives mm -hmm. and be able to provide assistance to them for free and share the gospel. And we didn't see people come to Christ. Right. 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 But I'll never forget any kind of disaster relief bill comes to my mind. Yeah. And, you know, we just, we have to do what we can do. Yeah. Right. The results, God does not demand that we make results. Right. He demands that we share the gospel. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I think that's really good.